Ушли и морда. UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that but it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills, if I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, you got a pretty good job. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Or tail of the tape for this welterweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Now for the introduction, Ladies here's and first buff. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 158 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? As this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. He stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Left hand punch with the clinch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. That knee might have landed there. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that check. 
Lee gets caught with that punch. And they separate. Right hand upstairs. Fruit punch. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful take. -off. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Close guard. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Nice straight punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike wow. lands there. Actually got the takedown. That knee might have landed there. Oh, that right hand is on point. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Just out of range with that right hand. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. His reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Battle for position here. All right, single collar tie now. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. the turtle in that kick. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. All right, he came from the single collar tie. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Round two is next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Take a deep breath. All right, get him some water. Slow that heart rate down. All right, here we go. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? All right, round two. Beautiful strike. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. What a body kick. Nice sprawl there as he stuffs another takedown. So that was a big priority coming in, and the takedown defense has absolutely held up to him. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job of understanding 
the threat of the takedown. He's recognized it. He's defended it before it's even gotten started. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Nice job staying busy here on the clinch. Well-placed kick there by Lee. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, collar tie. Lands flush with that right hand. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. You don't know when that leg is coming. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You got to like what you're seeing this one. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent in positions where he can get off the strikes. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishing. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Good stick. Oh, single collar tie here. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, the jab followed by the right hand. Just missing on the high kick there. Nice leg kick. A little single collar tie there. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Got the single collar tie. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp too. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Battling for hooks. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfectly. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Ten minutes in the books. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. 
All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. See if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights go, guys, go. with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the make. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Liver kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issues. Lee gets hit with a kick. Left hand punch with the clinch. Oh, that's a nice strike. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh man, hits the plane. How about that shin? Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Checks the leg kick. Beautiful punch. Another straight left. Oh, he eats a knee. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to... All right, so we're in the... Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying. Because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Back mount now. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat, chest to the mat. There it is. Oh, man, that was slick. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. A couple hammer fists there for good measure. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, man. This ground of not is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and combinations. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Now looking to do something with that left arm. He's isolating a Kimura attack. Notice he'll pick up his left leg, step over the head to get his opponent on his hip. Once he gets him on his side, he'll start to apply pressure to try to get the finish. I mean, he had to tap. If he did not tap, this man is not opposed to snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live to fight another day. But hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. Fights a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground. DC, talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler best submission specialist we've seen in a long time.
So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, one second of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Assassin! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back,